worry, guys. We're just an analogy for the world. I mean, this lagoon for the world. See if you get the sense of what I'm talking about. Taste is a good place for starters. This is Sherman, he's no Nero. He'll eat absolutely everything. From a walrus to a hero. And he means everything. Oh, and in the metaphorical sense, we don't really have much taste here. It's not something that we're known for. Blame Jim to me, he's the author. And welcome to the lagoon. On to hearing. Mm, hearing. Hearing, fat buddy, not herring. Megan plays the part of Sherman's girlfriend. Motivation for him until the end. That's motivation, then plain fearing. Well, that's the verse that is on hearing. On to talking. Talking is something Hawthorne excels at. Like Dr. Phil with constant chit chat. This is something that's ironic. Hermits are supposed to be laconic. Harsh. They get the point, Soupstar. Welcome to the lagoon. Smelt. He makes him smell a little funky, like an order and Gregner's monkey. Hey, I'm an anchovy! So you're a pizza topping, good for you. And welcome to the lagoon. Welcome to the lagoon. Now, uh, a little something about touching. Not in the way that you are thinking, but in a way that means mentally sick. Touched in the head like I Laguna Tick. Now he's getting personal. It is at this moment that we dance. Listen for the glitter clack of little fins going across the ballroom floor. I could have been a pair of ragged claws scuttling across the floor of silent seas. <laughs> Can't you see? We don't exist here in reality. I find this notion rather freeing. Now comes the verse that is on seeing. Hold on, stop. Why don't we just see what I'm talking about? See the show. Quick show of flippers. Welcome to the lagoon. Good dolphin. Welcome to the lagoon. Gentlemen, introducing Clams Casino and the Oysters Rockefeller. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 